Hello everyone and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I'm gonna show you how to create this drama sunny effect. Um, it's really hard to express what I mean but um, today I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of effect you can see on your desktop. This really dramatic sunny uh, effect. Um, let me show you an example. Uh, that's the final result I get and that was my previous image as you see it's huge difference uh, take a look on our shadows on our previous image our shadows were, were really, really like really dark uh, actually we didn't have so many contrasts before the colors were really weak and now as you see you ha we have really strong colorful dramatic um, full of contrast image so that's the effect I want to show you today. Uh, so right now I have to remove all the layers I create and start again. As I said, it's our previous image. I've got that image from Pond5 website. Um, link is in the description. I told you about Pond5, you can get uh, more than 50 uh, free images, more than uh, 50 free stock media files from my landing page if you are interested in. So let's start. At first I have to duplicate my um, background layer and I call this shadows and highlights. The thing I want to say uh, soon, really, I think I'm gonna upload a lot of tutorials because I feel a lot of um, motivation uh, to do this. So, as you see, I duplicate this layer and call this shadow highlights. So, now go to image adjustments and then shadow highlights. As you see, it makes our shadows much more brighter. Uh, here you have our window with shadow highlights. If you can't see all the options, don't worry, just click show more options because I'm not sure if default settings has all the options open. So just click show more options and about shadows, I'm out about 45 for me, it's really good. A tonal width, I drag it down to 40, I think. Uh, not sure about radius, uh, maybe add some nice uh, HDR look to add more details I put radius about 50% and I take down some highlights from the sky I think because I have to be careful uh, with sky because it might be too strong so that's the reason why I take it down about color correction as you see if we drag it down, we lost all the um, saturation from shadows. We don't want this. So I drag it up on the right side to add some saturation on my shadows. So that's all right. Click OK. And as you see, right now it's a really huge difference. I love that tool, I have to say. Uh, so now it's time for curves. Click the small icon on the bottom, then curves. About curves, at first I'm going to the uh, red. It's kind of war image, so and uh, the desert uh, atmosphere is here. So I think it's good idea to add some red color on our highlights just here. As you see, I drag it down here on the, uh, on the shadows area and drag it up on our highlights so it means I add some red color on the sky as you see as you see we don't have so much red color here on under our shadows area but we add a lot of uh, red colors on our uh, highlights area then go to blue and I do something like this drag it up here and drag it down here and drag it down on the highlights area to add a lot of yellowish color this time. So, <coughs> sorry for my voice, I'm a bit ill. 
so there we go. It looks like this. I think this image looks much more impressive now. But I think we still need some contrast. So again, I use curves to add some contrast. Not so much, just, just a bit. There you go. Now, create new layer because I want to add some uh, fancy fancy colors into that image. At first yellowish color, use brush, huge brush. As you see, I have opacity about 38%. Uh, Maybe here, here on our tank. And take a look, change, pass it into soft light. It looks really, really nice, I think. I hope it's not too strong, but if it is, you can uh, take down some opacity, for example, to 60%, and then create new layer. And now I think it's time for red color, a bit red color again with opacity 48. And this kind of color I want to add on my highlights area, it means on the sky area. Change um, I change the blending mode into soft light and it looks like this. It's really impressive. Well, maybe if you are interested in uh, some details, of course you can you can create stamp on the top, press shift, alt, command and E if you're working on Mac, press alt, control and E if you're working on Windows, then go to filter, other, high pass, and okay, about 9, 7, whatever, uh, it's okay. Change blend mode into soft light now, and there you go, as you see our uh, details are visible now, it's uh, much stronger, if it's too strong you can change opacity as always. And now I want to create another stamp. Then click right on this new layer, convert to smart object. And at the end I would like to add some uh, lightning effects um, to impress that effect. So click filter, render and lightning effects. I did this before, so that's how it looks like, how it looks my lighting effects area. I put color intensity about 27, about 30 is okay actually. If you don't want it too strong, hotspot is 16, that's hotspot quite huge, don't you think? But it works perfect uh, with that image. Um, here metallic, I take down some metallic. Exposure, I have minus 5, uh, we have to be careful with everything as you see because it's really strong, so okay. And take a look. Well, it looks really impressive now. I show you our previous um, image again. So, as you see, it's really huge difference now. I think we made a um, really great piece of work. Uh, it's simply, it's easy, it's really quick and impressive effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe my channel if you are first time on this channel. Leave a comment if you have any question or any opinions. And what can I say? See you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.